it's just a completely gorgeous morning in Galveston right now. Um, I'm so glad that I uh, <laughs> have been in a relaxed mood and uh, just got up early and parked by the beach. I wish I would have moved to this location a little sooner because as you can see by the background, um, the weather is going to change, you know, in relatively short order. Uh, it's been just gorgeous weather. Not windy. Usually it's windy here. Uh, that's also going to change. Uh, the temperature is going to drop a few degrees. It's going to go to partly cloudy and um, uh, overcast eventually with a slight chance of rain and um, going to be very, very windy overnight and into tomorrow morning. So I'm, I'm kind of uh, getting tired of crabbing, but I'll have to because of the wind conditions moving dunes around I'll have to spend a few minutes crabbing tomorrow morning and it, you know the colder weather it's been really cold this month uncomfortably cold on more than most days or more than the half of the days but the saving grace of when it's cooler is the sunshine because it just warms things up um, but today's morning weather is just fabulous from Galveston with the weather report I'm Steve squall just blew in out of nowhere I, I, I saw it come in but uh, Suddenly it was upon us. Uh, there were a lot of uh, really tall clouds out this morning, so it probably means we're under the shadow. Um, no hint of rain. Maybe some small hints of rain, but I'm checking the radar. Yeah, it did turn out to be quite a blustery day here in Galveston, and it's going to get worse. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I already uh, had to lunge into the streets to retrieve this hat, <laughs> which is um, uh, obviously turned backwards because of the wind. A, a good trick I learned from sailing. Um, as you see behind me, that is indeed the Carnival Vista. Carnival Vista and I have a little bit of history. First joined the Carnival Vista in St. Martin in the middle of the Caribbean a few years ago and uh, went aboard and joined the cruise to Miami to work on the, the Skyride bikes. The Skyride track is right here, and I wondered when the Vista would be coming to Galveston. I, I think I saw it already here, and I looked for the bike tracks, and you know, I actually, uh, once I noticed it was the Vista, I, I didn't have a chance to see if it had the tracks, so... from one of the engineers, well, not exactly an engineer, technician, but I did design the bike seats, that the new seats for the new bikes that are on the Carnival Panorama. Me, I designed them. And without authorization, well, you know, it was implied authorization, but they, Oh, they actually made a mistake 
which I caught instantly in the midst of uh, um, production of the seeds. They didn't build them exactly the way I had uh, planned. They didn't, anyway, it's a, a small detail, but significant because it uh, in, in impacts the comfort and uh, future modification ability Anyway, turn the whole vista. Surprised to see it here. Um, I was just gonna walk out and comment on the weather. Fun fact about this here ship is uh, two years ago or whenever it was, three years ago, two and a half years ago. Anyway, these uh, aluminum tracks crack in the wind and they vibrate really extremely and uh, I was told that it had, had cracked 17 times and it's it's a newer ship um, than you know seventeen cracks that they had to weld from wind strain and um, resonance from vibration. Actually what I came out here to uh, relate uh, in addition to the wind is that I did some new design work on the a new hover sled frame style this morning and I haven't worked on the hover sled designs in a few weeks but I figured uh, usually stimulates some new ideas so last night I style I want to So, yeah, I just kind of wanted to get the pulse to show the wind. Yeah. Actually, it was a year ago this weekend that we had the famous. Galveston freeze that was a year ago this weekend. Uh, like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, that kind of thing. So on the island a few weeks ago, a gas station uh, That happens from time to time. 